I'm deleting it. All right. Look, <clears throat> this is my theory. The three T effect all through history. You always have when people they be lost because we've been lied to. And you got that one or two per people that they stumble upon the truth. Be it self initiation, be it them going through something in life where the ancestor took them through something they use that as a medium to make them want to seek out more knowledge and start their spiritual journey. But whatever it may be, all throughout history, you always have people that discover the truth. The first thing a person does once he or she discovers the truth, you know what they do? They become zealous. Overzealous, to be honest, because ain't nothing like finding out the truth. I'm talking about, especially when it comes to us. Nothing is like being lied to your whole life, right? Only to find out that every day, they told, you told me and my people we wasn't shit. That's what y'all teach us in school to this day. But you get on the news and tell me and my people, shit has changed. You, you stole our names. Stole our land. Stole our customs, our history. Took our basic true religions like voodoo and hoodoo. And lied and told us it was evil and witchcraft. We built them railroads. Ain't no Asian motherfuckers do that. But that's what y'all taught us in school, though. We the brain behind every invention around us. Be it natural, supernatural, or what y'all like to call man-made. That's too much truth. So when we discover that truth, we become zealous. We, be, we like Richard Pryor was in that skit I showed y'all on my wall. Oh, shit, this us. We did this, we did. Oh, shit, I got to go tell everybody. That's how we get. Because you, America, you, Queen, I'm putting a step on all y'all last. Y'all want me? We, 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 this is cracking. Like I always put a step on y'all, Queen Elizabeth, the Vatican, CIA, FBI, and whoever else y'all want to use to come against me with lies of who I am out here for my people. Man, what haven't I been called while I've been here? Y'all told me I wasn't shit as a kid growing up in Chicago. That I would make it past 21. Call me a thug. A game banger. Drug dealer. As if you did put us you didn't set up that social system. You set it up for us, though. You did that. I got homies never coming home. You deem them murderers. For gun, but you put them guns in the community, though. Yeah, and you squeeze them triggers, too. You got mercenary groups riding around killing my people. Got my people thinking it's them killing each other. That's a lot of truth. You hear me? <laughs> Nigga, these is tears of... You know when you get to that moment, that mode, where you know you, you've already said it in your mind, what your intent is? This avatar has been fun while I've had it, but it is not who I am. And now I have to come up out of it to show y'all. To remind y'all who I am. What I am. That's too much truth. A lot of us ain't know that them guns is made out of our carbon till I told them. That's too much truth. A lot of us didn't know that it was a tribe called the Illinois Confederacy and that tribe covered the whole day modern Midwest. And Chicago was named after Chief Chicago, Chief of the Illinois. 
A lot of us ain't know that till I said that. Till I was told to remind my species that. That's too much truth. I became too zealous. I told too many. Especially when I start telling y'all about Hollywood and all of that. Ooh. If only you knew I have never lied about nothing when I talked about Hollywood at all at all. Guess what though? That's too much truth. And I told too many. Millions. So now with that, what does that make me? We move to the second T. A threat. The first T is discovering truth. You become the threat once you begin to spread the truth that you have discovered. You listen to me clearly if you never listen to me a day in your motherfucking life. That's when you become the threat. You think Rashad Jamal isn't a threat out here to the establishment? You ask yourself that. And once the establishment deems you a threat, I'm telling y'all to walk off their jobs. That will, that will crack their infrastructure. They don't play when you play with their money. I told y'all, fuck taxes, boy. I might as well hung a rope around my goddamn neck. That's too much truth. Now I'm not, I, I was in the truth phase, then I moved to the threat. Now I'm at, let's terminate him. We've already warned him. We took his social media, we sent him emails, told him we was going to kill his ass. I guess he thought we was playing. Nothing will shut Rashad Jamal up. He's still talking. We even sent the YouTubers at him to try to discourage him. He's still talking. He's teaching these people about magic. Prosperity magic. This man literally manifested all his wealth just so he could prove to his people that you don't need to work to get it. If only you knew. I went to jail on a case and walked out with no lawyer. You know, anybody just can't do that. I had five witnesses testify against me in my first review to murder charge. That was another penalty trying to take my life. False charge put on me. And they took it and ran with it and locked me up to take my life to stop me from doing what I've been doing, doing today. I see YouTubers and people saying he got to be an agent because he just blew up out of nowhere. He ain't even been out a year. Look at all this. No, it's called when this is your mission. The universe will flock to it. A lot of y'all that get on YouTube, that's not your mission. That's not what you was put here to do. So that's why people don't flock to you. That's why you had to make five to six years of YouTube lectures for motherfuckers to even flock to you. Because that's not your mission. No different than when I was rapping. You know how many years I put into rapping and it ain't getting nowhere? But I've only been teaching publicly less than a year. And look at this. See how it works? I'd rather this came from rapping. You would have told me two years ago, nigga, you're going to be teaching publicly. I would have said, get your bitch ass out of my face. This been me. I've been deep. You can pull anybody up know me. This been me since I was a baby. But I was scared to come out publicly and be myself. Folks and them going to judge me if I show how scientific I really am. Lord and them might not fuck with me no more if I show them how scientific and smart I really am. So let me dumb myself down and just limit myself to shooting guns and game banging. That's what I did. But the ancestors took me through that so that I can be able to go save those in the trenches. Y'all wonder why I've always said here with no shirt on, nigga. When I lecture, smoke my weed. Nigga, because Jesus, nigga, hung with the bombs, nigga. He hung with the prostitutes, nigga. He hung with the pimps, nigga. He hung with the, with the motherfuckers that sin. You go read that goofy-ass story in the Bible, nigga, because it's a strong lesson in it. That's what I do. Nigga, I'm, I, I'm talking to the streets, nigga. I'm talking to the jungle, nigga. I ain't worried about the gods and goddesses that's already woke. Y'all the least of my concerns, y'all already woke. I get on here every day to go get those who still stuck 
in that mental slavery. I'm cool with the gay people. I'm cool with white people that ain't racist. I'm cool with the gang members. I'm cool with the killers. I'm cool with the robbers. I relate to them. I don't judge them. I seek to uplift. But at the same time, I'm cool with the nerds. I'm cool with those that went to college. I'm cool with those that never been in the streets. I'm cool with... Because I understand the bigger picture. Y'all ain't for y'all people. Y'all only gonna try to save the motherfuckers that know what the fuck you talking about. Y'all don't even try to get on here and break it down for the people that's trying to find themselves, but they don't know them big ass words. You inconsiderate motherfuckers. Ain't none of you bitches really than Rashad Jamal. You niggas doing this shit for views, nigga. You ain't never thugged in no streets, so you ain't gonna thug with them. I call all you house Negroes out, and all y'all can do is gang up on me, nigga. Even when I used to call you niggas out to fight, giving all you bitch ass niggas a chance. Ain't not a nigga sent an email, a voice, a phone call. I said I had 50,000 over any celebrity got an issue with me saying their name. I'll beat all type of teeth out your face. Ain't none of you bitch ass niggas responding to you niggas know who I am. Y'all know people I know. All that is a small ass circle and not a nigga responding. When y'all came to me telling me to reach out to Pharaoh, I did that. Then he got on some feminine shit. I called him an agent out of spite. But do I believe Pharaoh's really an agent no matter what he say about me? Because I'm not going to lower my frequency. No, he's being attacked too hard. So you got to know something. If you see somebody getting attacked, they're not an agent. Agents don't get attacked. Prime example. Cappy Pondexter, a black woman, accuses a black man of child molestation. Because she said he did something with her son. Child sex, sex trafficking. Said he sex trafficking women. And pedoph with pedophilia, child sex trafficking, child, all that, what, what she basically said. Well, Angela Charge came to LeBron. He ain't went in custody of nothing. You tell me if you think I've ever lied to you. Think about that. It ain't about whether he did it or not. Nigga, motherfucker, say you did something right now. That's how fucked up they law is because the law is set up for your ass to go to jail. To kill you or jail you. A motherfucker, you could be in another country, a motherfucker say you did something right now, they're going to still put the case on you and charge you, nigga. That's the law. And that's what a lot of goofy motherfuckers don't know. Well, they, they can't charge you if they ain't got no, no evidence. What? Your goofy ass ain't never been to jail. Or know nobody that went to jail. It's niggas sitting in jail right now, ain't never coming home behind some shit they ain't do, and you got niggas walking the streets that did it. Like Ply said before he sold out, pussy ass cracker give a nigga honey years. Hey, your mama leaving out the courtroom in tears. Take a nigga life from now, know how I feel. Crackers playing dirty games, boy, this shit real. You ain't got to pay lawyer, don't, boy, don't go to trial. Crackers owe each other favors, they'll swap you out. You hear me? That wasn't no rap when he said that. You goofies. You goofies. So that's why I never get caught up in none of no shit that the media going to say. I know the game. But guess what? A lot of you, a lot of house Negroes, they not on that frequency. They want to see me dead. They don't want me out here because I'm the nigga that's going to stand on niggas' necks every time. You can count on it. You be like, look, I know Rashad Jamal, he ain't going to hold no punches. These other niggas who try to be nice with niggas, try to, he ain't going to do none of that. And if he's wrong, he will apologize. We've seen it all with him. We've seen him give back to his people. We've seen him apologize when he's wrong. I ain't seen no pride in him yet. Nigga didn't get over here with all type of stains on his teeth, and he'll tell you that ain't, he'll let you know I ain't brush my teeth yet, y'all. But I'm gonna kick the lecture off. How much really can I get with that? Get 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 in that. It don't get no realer than that. I ain't got on this bitch with crust in my eyes. Look, like, y'all got crust in my eyes. Hair not did. Face looking all rough. Y'all know I'm not on. Come on, man. Nobody does what I do, cause they be scared. Just like I don't see nobody doing what Kali do. He'd get, he'd get up there and walk up to 12 and then get to checking they bitch ass nigga. Y'all don't belong here. That's why I love him. And I feel like I ain't never seen Kylie sneak diss me at all, nigga. 
But the rest of you bitch ass niggas be seek this. Niggas mad about that I'm getting more views than them. What? You worry about views, nigga? I wish I had fewer views, because all them views ain't doing nothing but fueling at least the attacker, nigga. I ain't, I ain't never said I'm y'all no leader, y'all leader. But they did me that. Like I said, damn, the CIA called me a leader. So they study my lectures, they admire how I'm thinking. If someone eating mangoes, letting my speeches tango. Why did I say that? Because anybody know that when the government is doing is staking you out, they be in this little car eating their little snacks and shit. Or they little vans listening. I've always told y'all what they on with me. All you got to do is listen. This thing, I ain't never told. So y'all should be shocked when it comes to the day where I'm like, listen, in the event of my Tony Demise, I loved every last one of y'all. But I'm like Killmonger G. And if I got to leave my avatar to prove that to y'all, that's what's going to happen. Because that might be what it take for y'all to rise the way y'all need to down here. Hopefully it do. Because me, all gloves is off. You know? When you do shit like you just did, all gloves is off. I don't want to talk, I don't want to nothing. And I don't care what story y'all put out. Y'all try to slide on me like I've been telling y'all. Y'all slide on me, nigga. I'll, nigga, I'm, nigga, I'm going everywhere but to jail, nigga. I've been documenting this in every life. Because every truth teller before me has been succumbed to either jail or death by the elite. You can go all the way back to Jesus Christ if you do want to believe in him. If you do want to believe in the Bible, you go look and tell me what prophet wasn't falsely jailed or killed. Right. Right. And all soft bitch made niggas want to do is sit there and wait till something happened and be like, oh, well, we loved them. We loved her. Nigga, why don't you, why you ain't sliding with me right now? Why you ain't in the house right now? Like, look, Rashad Jamal on live. Something got to be going on for him to go like that. All I know is this. I know what's going on in the country. I know what's going on in the planet. And at the end of the day, he said they're trying to kill his wife, his family, him. Behind certain videos he didn't put out. He been saying this. I see them attacking him. So am I going to stay on this live and watch? Or am I going to really get in mode and get ready? And spread the word to people that I know. about. Listen, we got one of our leaders, man, down there in Georgia. Racist ass Georgia. The Deep South. I speak out against fucking the Elise and Pizzagate. All they bitch ass in the Deep South where I'm at in Georgia. You don't have no clue the risk I put myself under just speaking out like that being in Georgia. Again, you know, because I don't move for no fear. Just like in the Bible again, Jesus was a sacrifice for everybody else to move a certain way. They don't tell you that part. Bro, it's going to always have to be somebody, bro, to put their foot down. We going to keep fearing a law unless we stand up to them. The only people we fear is the police, y'all. That's why when we see the police beating somebody up, we don't do shit. Niggas just record. Because you want to live. You don't want to change. You want to live in this matrix. When you want to change, nigga, the last thing going to be on your mind is living in this matrix. Because before I live here a slave another second longer, America, y'all might as well get ready to try to deport me back to the Astros. And you better hope... That these primordial energies and these ancestors say, you know what? We want him to come back up here because he's done his job that we sent him down there to do. We sent him down there to wake them people up. He gave them every message that we needed him to give. And you know what? We need you to come back up here. You did your job. And if that's what they want, then that's, I'm cool with that too. I'd rather be back home in the eighth universe. It's more peaceful there than it could ever be down here. I'm disgusted with this planet. Trying to wake my motherfucking people up. And everybody we see and try to wake y'all up for y'all to stay in the same fucking boat. Y'all pray for a leader. Y'all pray for somebody to speak out. But then when he come, you bitches don't ride with him. All throughout history, nigga. That's why Harriet Tubman was killing you motherfuckers. Every time you bitch-ass house Negroes want to turn around, we get in the middle of the field, and y'all want to turn around and go back to the plantation, motherfucker put a bullet right in the back of your motherfucking head. Get your bitch ass out of here, nigga. You think you finna run back and tell the master our motherfucking way in and out this bitch? You already dead. They're killing your kids. they vaccinating you. Hell, they won't even let me talk about vaccinations no more. My whole channel is sold up. I'm just blocked on YouTube. I'm tired of being blocked on YouTube. I'm tired of making backup pages. I'm tired of being blocked. Every time I'm blocked, I gotta make a backup. I'm tired of that shit, nigga. 
This ain't no fucking game. I'm not finna keep putting truth out here, then get censored for it, and then gotta make a backup page, and then get censored again, and then still get attacked by trolls, and then get attacked with false accusations, and then get attacked. Gee, y'all got me fucked up. I know what I stand for. I know who I am. I know what I am. I'm a god. And I'm completely against America. And I'm completely against their laws. And they fucked up ass system, nigga. And I don't honor it, nigga. And they want me dead for it. So what they gonna do? They probably gonna send their military. Send their people at me. I already got the heads up from my ancestors. Now, how they gonna come? I don't know. But what I do know is that I'm public enemy number one. Nobody else is a threat right now to them. They not worried about Young Pharaoh, Ralph Smart, not even Kylie and Remy and the H and them. They not worried about them right now. They worried about Rashad Jamal and his followers. Y'all, they worried about y'all. Because guess what? Everybody that's in this university ain't bullshit. It's motherfuckers in this university right now. If I say we gone, they gone. We gone. Whole planet going up. Everybody in here ain't playing. Especially if you sit here and listen to every single lesson that I've ever taught. And you know why I give it with this passion. They rape our kids. Kill our kids. Eat our kids. They the pedophiles. They rape or They'll lock a nigga up for pedophilia. They, they, they the murderers. But they'll lock you up for murdering. When in fact any black or Latino person that has ever been down for a murder, they did it to defend them fucking selves. We ain't never murdered you. The only motherfuckers that murder just to murder has been America. Y'all stole and raped and murdered y'all way to the top. But y'all bitch ass got a whole flag like y'all love holding some laws, nigga. Y'all don't love on us over here. Then y'all go to South America and take from our people in South America. Y'all go over to Africa, take from our brothers and sisters in South Africa. All through the Caribbean. Then look how y'all do our plants, nigga. Y'all cut every tree down. We have no more trees. That don't bother y'all. Because your third eye is closed. Nigga, they cut all the trees down and told your bitch ass the mountains. We ain't never had a mountain around this bitch, nigga. We ain't got no mountains, nigga. Them tree stumps. They killed our planet, man. And they continue to kill us. And I refuse to stay on planet Tiamat an energy cycle longer and not activate. So to all my followers, I'm not trying to let y'all down. You know, if you like, hey, I want them to teach forever. It's the time to teach and it's the time to kill. You know, the Ecclesiastes says in the Bible, which they stole that from us, it's a time and a place. For everything. It's a time to heal. It's a time to kill. It's a time to run. It's a time to stand your ground. Let me tell y'all something. You don't never run from nothing. Y'all don't never move with no fear. Let me be the example. And if I haven't been, I swear to God on my soul, I'm about to be. If it took you to see physical action, to be like, I see he wasn't fucking around. And that's what that, you got what you wish for. Never let no motherfucking body put fear in you. When you know you stand for something, I don't give a fuck who threatening you telling you don't talk. I don't give a fuck who threatening you with what. Why y'all think I'm right here today? Because it's all coming from me teaching y'all I'm, I'm threatened. But at a different level. My mom is suffering a leg injury right now. And I'm not even going to know details about that was sent as an attack because of me. My sister couldn't hold food down two weeks ago at all. They ain't just been attacking me. They attacking everything close to me I love. My wife was feeling bad one day. You hear me? Because I'm telling y'all shit. I don't feel appreciated by y'all. Motherfuckers don't even ask how I'm doing. When I do check an email, all the motherfucker want it. I got questions. But what about how am I doing? How you doing, God? 
Have your family. I don't never hear that from you motherfuckers. Nigga, this shit been entertainment for you niggas, man. I'm going to war with the whole system. Start now. And I guarantee not a soul ride with me. I bet you, you bitches sit back, nigga, and just go collect t-shirts, nigga, and watch old lectures, nigga. I ain't going out like Malcolm. I ain't going out like Martin. I ain't going out like no motherfucker that spoke truth. And y'all just killed him, G. With me. With me. Y'all set that battle up. I'm not even here no more. I'm not even here no more. This is my last live on this Instagram shit. To catch me live, you're going to have to come to the website. Because I ain't going to never turn on my university that we constructed. But the elites are trying to kill me. And if I can't make it more clearer than that, I ain't trying to hear shit about, oh, we sending you prayer. I ain't trying to hear shit. If you ain't trying to step to the streets and get grimy, just unfollow me, G. Just unfollow me now, nigga. Nigga, I've been a gangster, nigga. I've always had to stand 10 toes, nigga. I ain't never needed no crowd and I ain't gonna start now. I am that I am. Wrath to God, nigga. And just like you bitches killed my great-grandma and y'all raped her 10 of y'all and then my granddaddy avenged her death, y'all want to play? We finna play. And I only just wanted my real followers to know why I sent them tweets out, what I meant. You don't see me laughing. You don't see me joking. Nigga, I ain't even say peace to the gods and goddesses, nigga. Because every god ain't, ain't, ain't a god. Everybody in my university ain't in my university. Let him who has eyes see clearly, nigga. <laughs> you, you go listen to my music. And you go listen to my lectures, nigga. Then you let me know. What you think they got planned for me. And then you'll know why. I've just activated. Nigga. My wife with me on it too. She just ain't on the camera. But guess what? Her life on the line. She the same mode I mean. Like well listen. We gonna go. We gonna go together nigga. Y'all might as well roll y'all CNN cameras nigga. You hear me? Nigga. Y'all coming like that nigga. Y'all might as well roll y'all shit nigga. That's why I say. Man please do me a favor. And somebody screen record this bitch G. Because in the event of my timely demise, G, my, lessons, my message will live way beyond this avatar, nigga. And I might not have changed everybody, but I changed somebody. You hear me? And just like Hillmonger told his ass on motherfucking Black Panther, nigga. Nigga, I will die, nigga. And death ain't real. But I ain't never been no punk, bro. I'm not finna not teach my truth. And I ain't finna move in no fear, nigga. None. Because y'all will never get that from me. You will never take me alive, nigga. Give a fuck what y'all say. And I've already made peace with it. When I seen them attack my mom, attack my sister, attack my wife. I made peace with it. Why you think I'm in the mountains, man? I went to the mountain. I made peace. I took a spiritual hodge. I made peace with it. I took up for Cappy. Now who gonna take up for me? I spoke out. Now who gonna speak out on my story? Who gonna tell it, nigga? Who gonna tell the real story? Or is you gonna let these people, we, we get into a whole war where I could come out on top or bottom and then they just slander anything about my name? How you gonna let it play out? Who gonna be like, listen, God came and was fearless in, in, in trying to make a change and them people ain't want that so they got on his ass and he wasn't going for that. Unlike most. You not finna scare me with no jail. That's why I said fuck taxes, nigga. Ain't no need of y'all waiting to build a case and then three years later, oh, taxes, nigga, fuck y'all taxes, nigga. It's real over rich with me, nigga. And the real thing is you supposed to stand for what you believe in, nigga. You fall for anything. Do you really know what that means? Are you really ready to die behind what you believe in, nigga?
Because either you're either you going to die and fight for this freedom, nigga, or you just going to live as a slave. Ain't no in-between, nigga. Ain't no in-between. That's something I knew the moment I started teaching y'all. That's the decision I made. That's why I said I knew this day would come. I know what comes with the When I said I was a revolutionary, I know everything that come with that. Every revolutionary before me had to leave here via a war. Che Guevara, Fidel Castro, I can keep going. I just need the real ones. In the event, nigga, of my untimely demise or their untimely demise, nigga. Let the, let the world know, man, who Rashad Jamal was and what I stand for. What I stood for, nigga. That's the least y'all could do, nigga. I don't expect the nigga to take to the street and test shit up, nigga. Unless y'all are y'all waiting to them to have a video of me hanging from a goddamn tree upside down for a nigga to try to make any type of move. Why was me? Why must we wait for that? Right. So all the love I gave out, what did I get in return? She still me and the ancestors, nigga. You ain't gonna never see nobody come and be as selfless as me with his people, man. You'll never see that. For a long, 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 long time, man. And you know what I'm saying? You don't miss what you got to is gone. Okay. A lot of y'all used to say, man, protect Rashad Jamal at all costs. Not even understanding what you're saying. You take these lectures as a game. Not one was a game, nigga. Every time I spoke, I put my life on the line for us. Because I knew what came with me speaking on shit that they didn't want y'all to know. Come with flat out war. We already in spiritual warfare. We just went through that Lionsgate portal and completely absorbed it. They running out of time, nigga. That 30 day mark I told y'all already up. They already out of time. They getting desperate. You see what they doing with the corona. You see all them flooding around the world. You see how the stories rolling out. They getting desperate. Understand me. If you've never understood me before, please let this life hit your soul the way it need to. When you think of me, think of Shaka. Think of Malcolm, nigga. Think of Marcus, nigga. Think of the Black Panthers, nigga. Huey Newton, Bobby Seale, nigga. <laughs> think of the Panther 21, Asada Shakur. She fought for what she believed in, nigga. Ain't no taking me to jail. I'm gonna nail your ass, nigga, and we up out of it. We gonna war like that. That's what she did. Remember Queen Nanny of the Maroons. I just gave a whole lecture about the Haitian Revolution, talk about Haitian voodoo. All of a sudden, something happened to my mama's leg. These are attacks, nigga. And all my followers can do is be like, when you going live again? Man, I'm gone, man. Because that, like they say, man, you know, you could give your all to the world. But the world ain't going to give their all to you. I leave as I come. Peace to all the gods, though. And all the goddesses of plenty of You know what time it is. It's war, nigga. It's war.